What's up, superstars? On today's video, we're gonna be covering a low resolution graphic and how you could easily convert a low res graphic to a high resolution for DTF transfers using Adobe Photoshop. Now, I know a lot of printing companies out here will just print your order without reviewing it or offering artwork services to fix your graphic. You know this firsthand because we have ordered from many competitors out there just to see how they're doing things. Let me tell you guys, if you guys are submitting junk artwork, you will get junk results. This is not entirely the fault of the DTF printer, but they should at least review the file and make suggestions, you know? On this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fix a low res graphic to a high res graphic for DTF. And we'll show you this step-by-step -step process on Adobe Photoshop. As an added bonus, I'm also going to be pressing the low res and high res artwork, just so you guys can see the differences between the two and maybe also spot the differences between the two. We're also going to be trying something new. So if you guys want to follow along with us, we'll be providing the raw images for you guys to download. So check out the description below for the Link. Here's also a quick tip. If you're sending artwork to your printer, make sure it's a high quality vector image. We recommend 300 DPI for the best results. Make sure for you and your graphic designer is creating your artwork in CMYK color profile to get it closest to the color of your design. And lastly, transparent files are recommended so you don't print the box around the image. If you need us to check out your artwork or just give suggestions, feel free to email or submit your order on our website for a quote today. We offer various artwork services. Now, let's get to the tutorial. Go to image, image size, and change resolution to 300. Change resample from automatic to bicubic smoother enlargement. Hit OK. Duplicate the layer by dragging and dropping the artwork layer to the Add New Layer button on the bottom right. You can also press Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate layer. Select the duplicated layer and press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate the artwork. Now head over to your menu, go to Filter, Blur, then Gaussian Blur, and we'll slowly and gradually adjust the radius. Hit OK. Click on Adjustment Layers curves and we'll play with the tickers for both the black and the white. Once satisfied, select both layers, right click and choose merge layers. You can also merge them together by pressing Ctrl E on your keyboard. Select magic wand tool from the toolbar and click on the white background to make a selection. Hold Alt and click an area to add selection. Hold Alt key or the Option key and click add layer mask button. To see if there's white edges on the artwork, create a solid color and place it on top of the original artwork layer. With the mask selected, go to Filter Other than Minimum. Set Preserve to Roundness and slowly and gradually increase the radius until it goes away. Hit OK. Double click on the Color Fill layer and change its color. With the top layer's mask selected, Use Magic Wand tool and select the inner part of the artwork you want to color, then create a layer mask. With the mask selected, go to Filter, Other, then Minimum. Another way is to select only the part you want to color by using Magic Wand tool. With the mask selected, go to Filter, Other, but this time click maximum and adjust the radius to your preference. Once satisfied, hide the color fill layer and you're done. Artwork is finished and ready to go, but before we start, if you need a new DTF supplier or your current one isn't cutting it, check the link in the description below. Our specialties include creating custom DTF transfers for clothing and UV stickers for a variety of surfaces. We pride ourselves on offering dependable service, superior quality, fast delivery, and wide range of vibrant color options. All right, let's check out these prints. So I just wanna first look at the bad quality one. You can see you have a very bad quality. You can see the glue on the opposite end seep through that side as well as also you can see the blurriness within the actual character pixelation overall this is not what you would want to have printed out especially such a big graphic as well this is exactly what you would want you don't see any of the fuzziness you don't see any of the white that's seeping out from the back Everything looks complete, doesn't look blurry. 
nothing's pixelated. This is what to expect. All right, well, let's put these on some shirts. For our blank tee, we have a US blank side seam extra large, 100% combed and ring spun cotton jersey. The model number we'll be using is US 2000. The shirt comes in a small all the way to a 3XL. If you're considered buying blanks made by US blanks, then I'll drop a link down below for you guys. All right, let's get on to the press. I almost forgot about the dimensions for the height. Big one. Coming to width 22. Let's go on to the press. For heat presses, you know we had to go with the Heatmaster Prisma with its 16 by 20 layout and its 10 inch pullout. It just makes it so easy to load up shirts as well. It could also thread shirts. And if you are interested in buying one of these, we will have a link in our description so you guys could check it out. All right, since we are not caring about this shirt, this is not gonna be a giveaway. We're not gonna care about placement. We're just gonna slap it on here just so we could see the comparison of the two graphics. So the first one we're gonna be doing is the low res graphic. We're just gonna press. And take this off right here. And we have another US blank, same skew. This one's just inside out. So we're gonna press this one. This is gonna be the high res graphic. And now we're gonna check out the comparison of the both. All right, first feel is gonna be the low res. Well, you, I, you don't even need to zoom in to kind of see that white glow effect. <laughs> High resolution. Okay. But again, we're not gonna really tell from this angle. We're gonna first also second press these two as well, making sure that everything is on. Now let's check them out. This one to look at is the low resolution. As you can see that white barrier around it. And it's very, very pixelated. Doesn't look really good on this shirt. Very blurry onto the detail. And it doesn't have a lot of detail to begin with. So it's kind of crazy how noticeable this would be on something that's not even as detailed as it needs to be but still kind of looks like crap. <laughs> so let's show you on the high res. It's a lot cleaner, comes out nice. Look at me on the, the black kind of goes in a little bit. So <laughs> really more just looks like eyes, <laughs> but it does look a lot better. Definitely don't need to see anything on the, you don't see anything on the edges. Everything comes up very nice and clean, nothing blurry. This is what you would need and expect from prints that are completely done right <laughs> and high res. So these came out great, these really did. And do bear in mind that it is backwards, upside down. But at the same time, we are not using these shirts, but just to really showcase the graphics and showcase the comparison between them both. <laughs> but all right, I think it came out well. All right. That wraps it up. We appreciate you guys tuning in in today's session. We demonstrated how to seamlessly enhance low resolution artwork to high quality. I trust you found this guide helpful. Don't forget to bookmark it for future reference as we work to boost your DTF skills. That wraps it up for today. Your support means it a lot to us. If you guys like the video, please hit the like button and also subscribe for more tutorials. Until next time, guys.